So there are a ton of common trends I see in successful people. And today we're going to be talking about persistence and not giving up and not fearing rejection. Now, there's so many examples of millionaires and billionaires who have had these things occur to them. And today I want to do a little bit something special. Rather than give you examples from the world of business yet again, why don't we take a turn to pop culture? Yes, the entertainment industry, which we all know and love. I mean, me being a millennial of the millennial generation, I know all about that. So today we're going to be talking about two of the top people in the entertainment industry. And they've been at the top for a long time, many years, and they're still very, very young. They're both females and they both, you know, kill it. Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift. And I'm just very, very, you know, it's so interesting seeing this stuff because, you know, it's just so fascinating how this has occurred as well. So what actually happened? Well, when they were both very young, they were both very, very persistent in getting what they wanted. And they did not care about rejection at all. They kept trying and trying and trying. With Taylor Swift, this was a time when she was a nobody. She was just a girl in school. And then she would come home after school immediately. And while the other girls would play or hang about, she was in the studios making songs every day. Imagine that. And from there, she just kept going at it. And finally, after a lot of begging and pleading, she was able to go to Nashville. And from there, she went to every single record label with her samp you know, sample of music and just tried to get them to get, you know, accept her. She finally got someone and that record label pretty much told her, well, I don't think you're ready yet. We'll give it a few years. Once you hit the age of 18, then we'll write a record for you create an album she hit 18 they said oh you know how about another few years i don't think you're ready yet how about let's wait a little a couple uh, you know a couple more years and she made a very critical decision at that point which ended up being a very very important decision had she not made that she may not be where she is now and that was okay i'm gonna walk i'm not gonna wait another few years i think i am ready I mean, for a girl to make that decision that early on and make it right, you know, the stars may have aligned. I don't know what went on, but she walked and another record eventually found her and picked her up. And this was a no name record and it was called Big Machine Records. And the rest is, you know, more or less history. I mean, there's more to the story, but that's that's it in a nutshell in terms of persistence and not giving up. Miley was very similar as well. So her real name was Destiny Hope Cyrus. Uh, if you want to know why I know so much about Miley, it's because I used to have a bit of obsession and then I looked up all her like biography stuff. This was before she left the Disney Channel and she was still Hannah Montana. I have nothing against how what she is now, um, but th just saying. Anyhow, she really wanted to get a role on the Disney Channel like she really really wanted it and this was a young girl so these were two very unusual girls as were many of the top entertainment celebrities coming out of the Disney Channel uh, again Selena Gomez Demi Lovato they were in the entertainment industry from a very early age like four or five years of age they were both on Barney they were on the same episode of Barney so I think that's very fascinating for these people uh, they knew their craft. They were perfecting their craft from an early age. And it just so happened that their talents, their skill set, their passions aligned. And it was set there in stone from a very early age. Anyhow, back to Miley. So, her real name is Destiny Hope Cyrus. Again, it's just a random fact. She legally changed it later. Again, it's, this is not a pop culture history lesson. So, you can look that up on your own. The point is, she really wanted to get onto the Disney Channel. And so what did she do? She sent in all these audition tapes for this weird 
television show that was still they were still trying to figure out a lot of the basics to the show but the idea the premise was already solidified which was this girl who was a pop star but she also had a secret identity as a regular girl in high school and it was to the point where the name of the show had not even been finalized and so she was sending in all these tapes she got her mother to send it in and it's just incredible I think it was maybe partially genetic that she had this drive um, especially for a girl who had a you know famous and rich father uh, Billy Ray Cyrus who was a big country singer so she had her mom film these audition tapes her mom would voice the other characters and she would act out these scenes with the scripts memorized and this was crazy for a young girl like most young girls are not doing this stuff they're not going to studios creating songs they're not doing audition tapes they're just you know lounging about having fun doing what good girls do so I think that's very eerie I guess you can say these people had a knack or talent or genetic gift from an early age maybe it wasn't really a genetic gift maybe they were just as capable as the average person the difference was that they had a deep interest and passion which allowed them to de develop an average skill set into something incredible just based on their interest and passion and the fact that they were flexible enough as with their average skill set to do so and it just grew over time because they had the early start that's another possibility anyhow I'm getting off track here the point is she sent in all these tapes begged and plead pleaded and uh, oftentimes she got rejected the tapes would not get returned or whatever but she kept going at it please 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 send in more tapes eventually they called her in for a real life audition so they flew her in and uh, she kinda had her dad there too and um, they just had such chemistry that her dad auditioned for the part of her father and they could see the passion and enjoyment and she did have a bit of an electric personality which was why I was very drawn to her when I saw her um, I don't know is this this may just be me but when I watched the Disney Channel back in the day um, I just knew like there's this just like electric it was a combination of electric personality attractiveness um, sassiness self-confidence and uh, whatever else and I just knew that these people were stars and I got drawn to them from uh, the first few episodes of Hannah Montana to the first few episodes of Wizards of Waverly Place with Selena Gomez to Demi Lovato when I first saw her on As the Bell Rings which was a in-between episode TV series between actual TV series I just knew that this was an interesting person and um, I just think it's very interesting uh, perhaps it's just a lucky streak and I, I'm completely wrong and I have no perceptive skill whatsoever but I don't know you know it's it's some it's that thing there anyhow she got the part long story short and the rest is history Hannah Montana whatever so I think it's very interesting these two celebrities have definitely met each other they actually sang a song together many years ago I don't know if they know each other's stories and how they both had such a persistent uh, strong personality and no fear of rejection at such an early age um, it would be interesting if they didn't anyhow that's all I gotta say as always like and subscribe thanks so much for watching I will see you in my next video peace